Perfect. And my name is Peter. I'm a CEO and co-founder of Informatica. Uh, we are the most customizable AI engine for medical diagnosis. So imagine if every patient who doesn't feel well could talk to the most skilled and most experienced nurse before they even enter the health system. According to statistics, uh, nearly half of emergency room visits in the US are unnecessary, which results in 18 billion expenditure each year. So let me introduce you to John. John is a regular patient. He begins with Dr. Google. And, and guess what? He becomes confused on what to do next. And this is a real result from a screenshot from Google. When I enter a headache and fatigue, the first thing I get is acute synthesitis type 2 diabetes and multiple sclerosis. So we want to help patients like John by putting the knowledge of this best trained triage nurse into a chatbot. It's never tired, it's multi-language, 11 languages so far, and most importantly, keeps improving over time. So now, instead of Googling, John can use one of our apps, whether desktop, mobile, Amazon Alexa, or Cortana. So you enter your symptom, uh, we ask a series of questions and recommend the most suitable point of care, whether this is self-treatment, maybe teleconsultation, or urgent care clinic. So for example, John may learn that he's having minor tension <coughs> headaches and doesn't have to rush to the emergency room. In fact, in one of our insurance deployments, we are seeing a 12% conversion rate from face-to-face uh, -face visits to teleconsultations. Um, so for the insurance company, it's a saving of about 20 euro per patient. So in terms of our uh, brief uh, go-to-market strategy here, we're B2B only, and we're licensing to uh, health systems, uh, self-insured health systems in the US and insurance companies in Europe. So what we do, we white label, we customize it, and we run first pilots internally with employees. Once we demonstrate our impact, a return on the of investment, we scale out to a broader deployment with other patients. And in terms of the market traction, um, clicker. Yes, we have 18 B2B clients, uh, seven enterprise, so we're very proud to be working with, uh, to be the official AI provider for Allianz Group. So after a successful pilot, we are now rolling out to several new countries, but we also work with other great insurance companies in Europe, like Dovera, Medicover, or Portuguese Medish. Uh, we have already performed more than uh, 3 million patient and interviews, uh, running at 40k a monthly recurring revenue, and we are expected to reach 1 million ARR at the end of the year. Uh, the team is about 30 people, we have very uh, high expertise in technological and clinical fields. Both of my co-founders are based in the US. For instance, Dr. Roberto Sicconi is a former IBM Watson Health research leader, and we are now raising a late seed funding of 1.5. The following goals, uh, we are starting a pilot with our lead clinical partner in the US, in Philadelphia. Uh, we are hiring a senior business person for the US market. Uh, we are expected to have three new health system pilots in the US and EU by October. Then we are getting one million ARR and get ourselves ready for a bigger series A. So uh, I'm happy to tell you more. If you want to help us bring the AI to health systems, uh, this is how it looks under the hood. And thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, who, who validates your algorithms and uh, what do physicians think about the results that your algorithms provide? Of course. So uh, the validation of the system obviously is very important in any clinical decision support area. So we do, a, we do it in three ways, actually. So first of all, we begin with our doctors. We have a medical team of 15 physicians. We have spent more than 10,000 hours curating and validating uh, the system. But secondly, we do studies with our uh, commercial partners. So if you think about Allianz, uh, Novara, Medish, Medicaver, all of them performed internal studies and gave a green light for deployments. And thirdly, uh, we compare against literature-based cases. So we look for journals like British Medical Journal, many of the proceedings, so we extract those descriptions and we measure the performance of the system against those cases, uh, getting about 93% accuracy in hitting the correct diagnosis in top three uh, positions of the diagnostic ranking. And we are also class one medical device. Um, yeah. Can, can you talk about the competition? Of course. 
happy to do so. So, uh, to begin with, there are two categories of competitors, the B2Bs and the B2Cs. So, we are solely focused on the B2B. We want to label of the platform customize it. Uh, by the way, um, we recognize our, our client C as the most customizable framework in this B2B space. In B2C, you have companies like Ada Health, uh, like Babylon Health, they might be migrating between both B2B and B2Cs, but I'm happy to say that in all of the deals that we have, including again Allianz, uh, Dover, Medish, uh, we were, after the very fair comparison, we were selected to provide the service. So we believe that we have the highest market traction in terms of B2B deals. Uh, the technical uh, things that make us also different is the highest coverage of languages, 11 languages. Uh, in terms of product, we are also the only company doing Cortana, so the Microsoft kind of assistant. This is where we want to in uh, invest uh, as well. Um, and one last thing, uh, our al reasoning algorithm asks 10 relevant questions, not 60 or 80, as it happens in the comparisons that we did with competitors. How, how would you compare yourself with Dr. Watson, the IBM uh, initiative? <coughs> Yeah, so uh, Dr. Roberto Sicconi, uh, one of our co-founders, was actually the inventor of IBM Watson Health Project in New York. So he's worked for like 30 years at IBM and he quit. Uh, IBM has, does not have a product like this. So they, they, they don't do primary care uh, triage. They're focused on very like, complex domains of oncology and many treatment. They simply don't have a product uh, like this uh, right now. I think they have a different focus. Uh, however, in three cases with the customers, we also competed with Watson, like Health Loop in the US. They use uh, our engine in more than 120 hospitals for post surgical detection of complications, and they also chose us instead of Watson. So, but most importantly, they don't have uh, the exact same product, they have a different focus. Um, clarify again, what is your pitch to insurance companies? Of course. So, you know, being a payer, when you take your financial risk for your patients or for your employees, you want to make sure that they don't use services which are not necessary. So you don't want to go to an emergency room with some sore throat or common cold. And also, if you have something which can be treated through a teleconsultation, you may want to gently steer patients in the direction of the fastest and most cost-efficient kind of care. And this is what we do. By implementing virtual triage, every, every insurance company wants to route patient the most efficient kind of care, which is also good for a patient, because if I don't have to run to like face-to-face -face visit, I prefer to call my neurologist or any other doctor. So, saving money on better routing patients. And can that not be done directly with the consultation provider? Oh, not really. So we step in, we are a very good fit for a teleconsultation provider, but we step in before. So what you want to achieve is people, instead of Googling symptoms, they want to use uh, your own chatbot or assistant provided by their insurance company. So Allianz is providing this app, the chatbot to their clients, and they say, next time you feel unwell, please see our advice to the security app that we provide to you, because this is then already connected with our services. In, in theory, uh, you, sh you could co you cut costs, isn't it? but that's a theory. Do you have any business case proving uh, the savings to the insurance company? Yes. So, uh, for example, one that I mentioned with one of the largest uh, insurance companies in Poland. Uh, how much did you uh, save them? Oh, 12% on the face to face encounters. All right, thank you so much.